not really playing as aggressively as he will as the match wears on. same time it's going to be interesting mentally to see how Barney is able to sustain his level of concentration. I'm sure the loss to Timothy is going to be weighing on his mind the entire match. In some ways he might be a little bit more relaxed but at the same time you have to have some tension in order to make sure that you move that extra step and not just play so freely. And it looks like Barney's come out very loose, too loose, in fact, making a few easy errors. Just very flat, not moving his feet. And that's one thing that we've seen Pierre look do so well is re-looping on slow openings. He starts to do that after gaining some confidence. We saw, as I mentioned earlier, the first three, four points of the match just coming out very passive, getting a feel for what Barney wants to do. There you see that backhand to backhand exchange. That'll be another element or pattern that we want to watch is to see who feels more comfortable because definitely there's going to be a lot of that in this match. That looked like it hit the side of the table. Umpire seeming to indicate an edge goal. Well, it hit the table for sure, but it didn't go up. It looks like they are indicating to the umpire that he felt it was a side of the table. Very sportsmanlike play from him. And he needs to keep that forehand under control. It's his big weapon. Certainly has a stronger forehand than Barney. Barney with the better backhand out of the two players. And maybe a little bit more creative on the serving as well. Barney tends to have some almost Adam Hughish type of motions out of his serve to really confuse the opponent. Both players very aggressive service games. Pierre Luke cannot get into that exchange. He's backing away from the table. Doesn't really do much with his backhand. He's going to lose 9 out of 10 of those. And we've seen Pierre Luke have some success with the punch block, but at the same time, it's not much room or margin for error. It's very easy to net those balls. The difference is Barney's, so Barney's shots don't necessarily have much pace. It's more of a spin. It's very difficult to hit a punch block when the ball's not coming at you very, very quickly with the time it just right. It's amazing how quickly Barney, Barney settled in after trailing by quite a margin. It's almost like he decided he was going to really try to win the match after all. It looked like from some of the early points that didn't really care too much about the outcome. And, and really, this has been more of a pure look, having difficulty keeping the attacks going while Barney's been playing with placement. That was absolutely an Adam Hughes serve, but Pierre Dario dealing with it well. Already saving contacting another game the ball point. on the other side of the racket. But they're going for a very heavy underspin ball, but he served out deep. Dario making a little bit of a, an error there, allowing Barney to rush him up to the table and, and really serve very quickly without Dario getting set. 
In that first game, we saw Therio get into a few too many of those backhand, backhand exchanges we were talking about. Barney with a much stronger backhand exchange. It'll be interesting to see if Barney comes out aggressive in this game because he really played off of Pure Look's misfortune, not really trying to do too much, but just to keep the upper hand in placement as well as really use his outstanding serves to his advantage. Barney Reed, of course, with considerable support here. One of the more popular and polarizing figures in the United States. As you said, honey, he's been kind of coveting a little bit of that bad boy image, but I will say he's done a ton of great public relations work to get more people involved in the popularity of the sport. He's had an extremely long career. He's probably played more tournaments on a yearly basis than any player in the last 10. Strange error off that high ball. We've had we've seen several players having trouble with lobs this competition. It's almost like they're afraid to move their feet to get in position, but they're just swinging from the last shot. Barney looking just a little bit rushed there. We saw this in the last match against Timothy Wong that he played when he knows where the ball is going, just rushing, not holding himself back. There's an edge that Barney would have loved to have had in that prior match against Timothy Wong when Tim was on the winning side of those somewhat lucky edge balls. You know, when two lefties are playing, Han, it's usually the only time when they get a clear view of the other player's forehand serve, because usually there's a little bit of body hiding when they're playing a righty. So if Barney's winning these service points by change of spin, it just tells you how difficult his serves really are, because Pure Look is getting a clean look at each one of these. A great backhand down the line from Barney. That's really his strength, and he's adjusting it now. Not going cross court every time he's able to take that one down the line for a clean winner. Very great control. The offensive shot with absolutely no risk. Now Pierre Look putting on a little bit of a clinic with some well-placed sides and serves of his own. Both these players, of course, with very strong service games and a relatively weak service return game for this level. Should see a lot of third and fifth ball attacks. This doesn't look like Barney has that same level of desire 
right now. It's so understandable after playing such a important match with Timothy Wong in the last round. Here, look, being a junior and member of the Canadian youth team, he's looking towards Rio for sure. He came here as an alternate when Eugene Wong did not get his passport at the last moment. So when I spoke to him earlier, he said, I'm just happy to be here. I'm ready to play a lot of matches. And clearly, he's viewing this as a great opportunity to help his world ranking, to um, impress the coaches as they do selection for their team, as he is a full-time player also. Great angles. It appears that Barney's probably played, because of his age, a lot more matches against other lefties because he's really controlling the table well. I'd like to see him show a little bit more urgency, though, in this game. Looks like he's almost just waiting for Pure Look to miss. Versus versus making more of an offensive statement of what he wants to get done. positive energy with pure look after every point. Good to see Barney's father and coach, Barney Reed Sr., back in his corner for this match after they had arguments in the previous match with Timothy Wong about a strange timeout call in the second game when Barney had a lot of momentum. I'm probably the one coach that likes to call timeouts when my players are leading, but generally not at 6-2 to two in the second game when things look really under control right after that break, Timothy Wong went on a seven to one point tear and basically put Barney down two zero. Now Barney just looks like doesn't have the same urgency, the same energy as he did in his last match. Especially on those balls that are dropping. So on his forehand side, he's just not moving into the table, showing his frustration a little bit. I think one of the challenges here, Han, is that at most tournaments in our sport, when you lose a match, your tournament's over. You don't have to come back for a placement type of match, and these are so anticlimactic for most players. But I will credit Pierre Look for putting everything out on the table. He wants to win this one as badly as he has any of the other matches he's played in this tournament. You can see that he's still fighting on every point. It's a great solid counter loop there. He loves to turn the corner, use his forehand to re-loop that ball. Really almost pure look is working for every point and Barney's going for shots when they appear. But again, some devastatingly deceptive serves. Oh. 
Great hustle, almost a lot of backspin on that retrieval, uh, retrieval there from, from uh, Pierre-Luc Derriot. And here, look, Terrio takes game number three in very workmanlike fashion. Just getting his first attack in. Definitely out maneuvering and moving his feet from both up close to the table and from the backcourt with a pair of 11-7 victories in the last two games. Talked about both these players' serves so far this match, Sean. Can be such a really a luxury as a player to have such a deceptive serve, get a lot of free points, especially during critical portions of games. Yeah, it can also be at the same point a little bit of a disadvantage if you win points without working. When they do come back at what happens at the higher level more times than not, you're just not accustomed to having to fight for that first attack. Unlike we saw Pierre Look Ince and Timothy Wong both very comfortable with starting strong after maybe a more basic serve. Beautiful backhand right there by Barney Reed Jr. by Barney Reed. Definitely some of the most exciting points of today. I've seen that a few times from Thario. This tournament just rushing a little bit on that opening. It seems sometimes he just really comes across his body and doesn't generate enough topspin. Barney Reed making the same mistake. Arnie definitely looking more comfortable in the backhand to backhand exchanges. Pierre look forcing that backhand, not letting it come to him. I don't think Pierre Luke realizes how strong Barney's backhand actually is. Just continuously giving him opportunities to play that shot. You're absolutely correct, Han. If you had to play Barney two shots in a row, starting on the backhand side is probably not the wisest decision because he has both the down the line punch, this is his ability, there is a nice setup and going back to the forehand.
so I threw a little bit too much on that back end there. Had the opening and just went for power. The Barney's going for a lot more inside out, forehand side spin versus the traditional pendulum serve that top players might do. That particular block that Pierre Luke uses so effective when the opponent is away from the table. But Barney's spinning the ball off the bounce just like that. And Pierre Luke not having any opportunity to employ that. You can see how on the last two serves, Pierre Luke actually served it from his forehand side to create the angle that Barney's able to get from the backhand. Really showing a bit of frustration on the service game. There, Barney really just taking it downtown. A nice forehand loop. There we go. Really dealing well with Barney's serves in this series. Not able to convert on the first one, but getting a little bit fortunate on the second point. Barney getting away with a little bit of a soft loop to tie this match up at two games apiece. Ariel showing a little bit of frustration at the end of that particular game, missing another backhand block. He needs to find a way to stop playing these backhand to backhand exchanges with Barney. He was just spinning the ball very easy off the bounce, not giving Dario much space to work with. And he's trying to make the same backhand stick blocks that he usually does, but just not having the timing to do it. I think for Pierre, look, if he can just get to that second loop and not allow Barney to take the first opening and move him around at will like Barney's been doing, that he can back Barney off the table some, and then he'll have more time to get in to his counter looping and the angles won't be so extreme. But it's so difficult because Barney has such great control over the first two shots. Playing Barney sometimes it looks like he's more of a forehand player because sometimes he'll try to force that shot, try to force the forehand just like that. And he can make some spectacular shots with the forehand, but you really need to be going after that forehand more than his backhand. I think that's really true, Han. And kind of looking from a technique standpoint, Barney really doesn't have heavy topspin on his ball. He actually has a lot more speed. So balls that are loose are a little bit low. When he forces him, he really doesn't bring it down that much. You can see like that ball going long. Whereas somebody like Timothy Wong or Pierre look in, they have so much topspin, they can take a bigger swing and not risk the ball going off the end of the table. It's a little out of position there from Pierre Luke. Forced to really hook that ball. It was a little bit of a mishit by Pierre Luke, but actually it went to the best place possible, forcing Barney to go out to the forehand side. Yeah. A little bit of a sloppy game so far by both players. Barrio needs to change the location of his serves a little bit. Going 
Again, both players just a little bit sloppy. Barney serves, of course, very deceptive, but Dario needs to put it on the table. So Barney actually taking some pace and kind of sliding or lofting the ball back. Timeout by Pierre Look. Definitely showing you the intensity. He wants to win this match badly. Doesn't want to let it get away, especially in this critical fifth game with the score tied to a piece. Don't think Dario is going to be happy with the pattern of this particular game. A lot of just short, sloppy points, a lot of missed serve receives. It really favors Barney's style of play a lot more. Dario really prefers to get into not necessarily long rallies, but more counter-looping rallies. If you can get mid-distance and use that powerful forehand, we haven't really seen that this game at all from him. Right, I think he's felt a little bit more nullified or handcuffed than Barney has and not having the ability to play that cross-court from the backhand shot, which against the righty is generally so much easier. Oh, and beautiful forehand flip there. Barney really just backing up softly on that last point, not putting much pressure. That was just a beautiful forehand. And Barney finally landing one. Not a great drop shot from Dario, but getting away with it with a strong forehand. And Barney just backing away from the table very early these last few points. He needs to stay at the table and dictate with that backhand. Directional control by Barney. And he has such good timing when he's at the table and he's putting pressure on the opponent. Oh, that was a very strong serve and Pierre Luck was able to turn the corner and just take it down the line. Credit Pierre look on great fork on that last shot. He covered both wide angle balls with his forehand. And again, another hard working ball that he was able to turn the corner on. Barney does have the tendency when the games when the games get close and down to the end to serve either medium or deep serves, trying to get some cheap points or trying to really cut corners a little bit. But an opponent who knows that it's coming, high quality opponents are obviously going to take advantage of that fact. You, you can't have those mental breakdowns or mental letdowns at the end of the game. That's when you have to be at your sharpest. And I think that has more to do with the number of free points that, that he does get. And maybe the opponent doesn't miss one of your serves, but when they get a lot of pop-ups, it's almost like a serve and volley player in tennis. When players are having trouble locating where you're serving to, you've got a lot of easy put-aways. And at the end of a match, when they finally have figured out where you're going, you're just not going to get that easy setup. So you've got to be willing to work in that situation. And to your analogy, it's almost as if if you're a serve and volley player that has no baseline game, and when your serve and volley game isn't working, 
you need to have something to go back to. And some players with very deceptive serves just don't have that solid foundation to fall back to sometimes. Arnie needs to get mentally back into this match. It seems like right now he's a little bit, see a couple of smiles playing with the audience, even interacting with the umpires. As a player, you don't want to be aware of all these outside distractions, the umpires, the, the audience. It's just things that take away from your performance. Such a fine line between winning and losing at this level. Like part of your attention is based on what's happening outside the court or maybe the flash or the red light on the, the camera. Absolutely no way you can be playing at optimal level. And Barney playing very relaxed and just kind of keeping it in play and it looks like Pirlik is almost overhitting and forcing the action too much. Just screwing up his timing to some degree. For a second there, I was looking over when they called the timeout and Senior wasn't in the backcourt or in the coaching chair, and I thought maybe once again he took off, but he was grabbing Arnie some liquid for the timeout. Wasn't sure if that was a normal tactical move to have the coach leave the match on a second occasion, but this time he was just grabbing some liquid One of the first times in this match that Dario has actually redirected that backhand to Barney's forehand side. And I think that's really a mistake for Pierre Look to fight so hard to step around his backhand and then just to play the ball cross court right into Barney's backhand. 
he can take that ball right back down the line if he wants. He can pivot on it, or he can just go right back into the same angle, which keeps Pure Look stuck in the backhand corner. He needs to go out to the forehand if he's going to have any success. Barney made that the last time he tried it earlier in the match. The player serving tops and you really have to decide whether you're going for it. Or to play it safe and Barney is definitely going for it right now. And we're tied up at three games apiece in this third place match in Cary, North Carolina at the Olympic. Trials for the 2012 London Games. Thuriel really doesn't have much of an answer for Barney right now in the match. Even the games that Thuriel has won, Barney's been controlling the tempo, that backhand off the bounce, he stepped around when he's needed to. But Thuriel is really just being forced off the table a little bit, but still not even able to use his forehand. He's stepping off and then trying to backhand punch from mid distance. It's not going to be how he can get himself into a winning position. Again, it's a battle of the backhands from Barney taking control, where Pierre Look needs to get something going right from the start. Really seems like it's Barney's game to win right now. Much better opening out to the forehand side. This is exactly what Pierre Luc needed. He needs to get out quickly, build his confidence. That's a great backhand block. Barney with some misdirection, but Pierre Luc just not falling for it. Standing his ground, just hitting the backhand to the open court. That's a very nice backhand move down the line. Again, during the backhand to backhand exchanges, Barney just looks so much more comfortable being able to play both down the line and cross court at will. Ethereal needs to be more aggressive with his forehand. Previous point, he actually got a forehand in, but because the quality just wasn't there, Barney was able to put extra pressure on the next ball. He's going to get his forehand and he needs to make Barney react to that ball. And again, challenging pure look with either pure sidesman or a little bit of a sidesman topsman serve, forcing him to make an aggressive return. And some frustrated body language from Pierre Luke here. He's still a young player. And he can't let the frustration get the better, better of him. He's going to make some mistakes, but right there, just looking a little bit flat, looking a little bit discouraged. I wonder how much the physical toll is taking on his body right now. He's been playing for three hard days. And he really plays such a hard working style of play. He doesn't get a lot of free points. He normally has to make two to three loops every time. 
but he's evened up the match. That forehand loop just catching the edge of the table. We've seen Barney get frustrated. And that momentum swing has Barry out right back in it. He's now leading by one. Little change in momentum here with Pierre look moving the ball around, getting some airs out of Barney. That opening wasn't so bad, but Barney really stuck him in the backhand corner. Fight back by Pierre Look. Normally you think that would be such an easy point for Barney to finish. But he's had a little difficulty putting the ball away, especially on extremely high balls. Pierre Luke's forehand's so good from off the table. And there's that backhand punch that he's been doing so well throughout the event. But he does have the serve and the two-point lead. We're both kind of speechless right now. Barney deciding to change hands on a counter looping rally. And pure look, Terriot has taken the third place position in the North American 2012 Olympic Games qualifying trials.